the last step is to determine if the dispersion coefficient that we've just fitted, which is part of the convection dispersion equation here, with the two parameters, the velocity and the dispersion, if that value d is what we expect based on this uh, Taylor formula, where we have the velocity squared, the channel width squared, divided by 210 times the molecular diffusion coefficient, and all that added to the molecular diffusion coefficient. So for us, the velocity that we're working with at the moment is point 046 and the dispersion coefficient is 0.322 and the width is equal to 10 lattice units. Of course the units of the dispersion coefficient are lattice units squared per time and the velocity are lattice units per time or time step, let's say. The dm, the molecular diffusion coefficient, is based on tau zero and has a value of 0 0.0033. And of course, uh, it's the D that we have fitted that we're trying to match to the uh, expected D based on these values here. And when I plug these numbers into the formula, I end up with a value of 0 0.305 lattice unit square per time step. Not too bad for a very quick and uh, run in a very narrow channel.